Hi, this is Bill for Sparky Channel, and today I would like to ask the question, is this sticker really necessary per NEC code? This picture is from an earlier video I made, and here's a little clip from it, which will give the needed background information. So here we go, we've got the uh, weather-resistant GFCI receptacle, and the weather-resistant regular receptacle, and let's uh, turn on the circuit breaker, see how we're doing. Okay, circuit breaker's on, the little green LED's on. And there we got our two lights that indicate proper wiring. And here we've got it there. That one's good, and that one's good. Okay, so now we'll do a test. We press test, and that worked properly. So we know that this GFCI is controlling this receptacle. Let's see, right down here. Reset, test. Okay, so that's working properly. You can also put it right here. I say reset and then test. So the GFCI is working properly and the receptacle next to it is working properly. It closes up like that. You want to open it and you just open it like that. And you have a space right here for extension cords. So you can plug them in and leave them plugged in and close it up. Okay, in the box that you buy the uh, GFCI in, you'll find these little stickers. It says GFCI protected outlet. So we've just proven that it does protect this outlet. So you put the sticker on there. So this is your GFCI, weather resistant. And this is your uh, outlet, your weather resistant outlet that is GFCI protected. Here we are at 2020 NEC 406.4 D2C. And right here it says where grounding type receptacles are supplied through the ground fault circuit interrupter, grounding type receptacles or their cover plates shall be marked GFCI protected. So it's an open and shut case, right? Let's take a closer look. This passage under C is actually under the heading of two entitled non-grounding type receptacles. In this picture, the receptacle on the right is a non-grounding receptacle. They're often called two-pronged receptacles. The receptacle on your left is a grounding receptacle. This passage under C is actually about non-grounding receptacles, so there is a very good argument to be made that the grounded receptacle in this photo does not need its GFCI protected sticker. I will say though, that as someone who has to troubleshoot problems with residential wiring, I definitely appreciate electricians or do-it-yourselfers placing the GFCI protected sticker on the receptacle that is protected by the GFCI. It gives me some good information for my troubleshooting. Another point is that although the clause is clearly about non-grounding receptacles, it does say to mark the protected receptacle as GFCI protected, which even though the receptacle is grounded, might be construed by some to mean that a grounded receptacle must be marked as well. What do you think? Do you feel that this sticker in this photo is necessary by code? Let me know in the comments section below. Thanks, I hope this video was helpful.